about King of Kings officials. They see it absolutely neutral, unbiased, straight and honest. Respect to the judges, the referees. Well, it's been amazing. What great fights we've had. Dennis, this time, the winner for Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Hero Series 2016, live on Fightbox. It's time for fight number six, weight division 71 kilogram. Blue corner, fighter representing Poland, Denis Bossi. So here we are at the concluding fight of the night. Seven on my fight program. Representing once again Amrani Palace. Kamel El Amrani, who can't make it here tonight, he's in some of the fights. So he's got senses two of his, one of his trainers and fighters, Vladimir Tok. And the corner team there. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, Red Corner, fighter representing Moldova, Dorel Christia. So one of the most featured fighters on King of Kings in Moldova, fought so many times here, Dorel Christian. From here in Kishno, Moldova, the local boy. Been on so many King of Kings shows. 25 year old, an impressive 38 fights, 32 wins. Sixteen of those wins by way of knockout. Incredible record. The man already in the ring there in the blue corner, also Reasonably close to the number of fights. 23 fights, 22 wins, only one loss. That is an impeccable record. So this is a great match on paper. Dennis Boisik, one loss in 23. He is well, well capable. Eight wins by knockout. So these two guys can bang. They will stand, they will bang. Dorel Christia, Moldova. Fighting for the blue corner, 23 years old, official height 170 centimeters, official weight 71 kilogram, his big. professional That's record, big. 22 wins, 8 by knockout, 1 loss, participant and prize match of fighting tournaments, fighter representing Amrani Palace, Poland. Denis Bossi! Fighting for the red corner, 25 years old, official height 176 centimeters, official weight 71 kilogram, his professional record, 32 wins, 16 by knockouts, 7 losses, world kickboxing champion, KOK champion, fighter representing Garuda team, Moldova, Dorel Christian. KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. So, Riches Kozmenka there with the 
tail of the tape, guys. They meet in the middle. Dennis Washik. No clinching, no elbow. Fabulous Shake your hands if you want to. Record there, 23 fights, 22 wins, right. eight Judge. knockouts, one loss. Judge. And Doral Christian. Judge. 39 fights, 32 wins, seven losses, 16 knockouts. This is going to be First a round. great clash. Fight. Here we go. Doral Christian in the red corner, red gloves, black shorts trimmed with white. And gentlemen facing him from Poland. In the blue corner, blue gloves, black shorts also trimmed with white. This, our concluding fight of the evening. Here live on Fightbox in Kishnau, Moldova. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Unless it goes to a draw, extra round, extra three minutes. That's when the stamina is tested. So both fighters testing each other from the belt. Stiff, stiff punches coming in. Nice long knee coming there from Dorel. Darrell with the two punch combination and going upstairs with the high kick. Left body kick coming back from Dennis Washington. The Garuda gym trained by Maxime Ralin, Dorel Christian and Kamal Al Amrani, the trainer of Dennis Washik. Representing Poland goes there with a jumping knee, nullified there from Doral Christian. Oh, nice left body kick and left inside low kick coming there from Dennis. Going upstairs again, Doral just going over the top of the gloves. And Dennis there, attempting the spinning back fist, got himself a real good guard. And you need that because you've got a seasoned pro in front of him. As you can see there, picking the shot really well. Very impressed with these two right from the start. Two minutes gone. Both fighters having an equal share of this first round. Switching stance now to Southpaw. Dennis Wojcik. Many Polish speaking fans around the world. I'll try my feeble Polish. Cześć, cześć, a I think roughly translated is hello and how are you? If you've joined us in Poland, got the Polish commentator at the side of me, Michal Turinski, who's uh, commentating at the moment, just to my right. Fought on King of Kings shows, very good opponent. Fighter, should I say. Nice left hook to the body with an uppercut. Good push kick coming back there from Dennis. Ten seconds, hammer's gone down. Nice little combination with the hands and an inside low kick. From Dennis. And a low kick right on the bell. Well, what a good opening round. Three minutes there. Both fighters getting an equal share of that. For me, I'm going to go 10 10. I thought that was pretty equal. Guys, I always give an unofficial scorecard of how I see it. You might see things differently. Remember, there are three judges ringside, sat on three different angles for that reason. You might be seeing something different than me, and especially from the different camera angles. There's probably half a dozen cameras in here, guys, taking different angles, and you can see stuff very clearly. The King of Kings camera crew showing us exactly what this is all about here in Kishnau, Moldova, live on Fightbox. FEA, Fighting Entertainment Association. Fighters, second out. Out, out, out. So seconds away. Out. Step back, step back. Second round. Fight! Second round. Round two. Stiff jab there to the body from Dennis. Left kick coming from, and right kick coming from Dorel. Again, nice little exchange of punches from both fighters. Going back to Southport, Dennis. Dennis going back to Orthodox, left stance. Great matchmaking from your promoters, Donatus and Dorin.
Good inside low kick from Dennis. Dorel throwing the overhand right. Meeting each other right in the middle of the ring. Good stiff jab again to the body. Inside low kick and jabs coming back from Dorel. Solid right low kick. Inside low kick from Dennis again. And big hands coming back there from Dorel, getting busy with the punches. Both guys testing each other with their hands here nicely. And lovely walking straight knee. Oh, and a left up coming over. Sweat flies off Daryl's head. Takes the punch well. Got a good chin on him. Both fighters have because they've been tested already. Solid two hooks to the body. Right, left, and a low kick on the end of that from Dennis Wojcik. And again, that really accurate left jab. I really like how he throws that jab to the body and lands it too. Doral Christian happy to take the body jab to try and land a punch of his own. Inside low kick there again from Dennis. Ooh, two nice straight punches and a left eye kick and a long knee steps in with Doral. Again, strict instructions from the referee, no clinching. Like I said, a lot of these fighters coming from Muay Thai. And obviously that's the iron science of eight limbs, plus clinch, which is stand-up wrestling. Second no clinching. And again, the low command gets no favours from the referee. No clinching, he's had two, three warnings. The next thing will be a yellow card. Ooh, put his head dangerously low, he's going to take a knee in the face. Listen, my command, no clinching, last warning. So last warning. Sold him in English and in <laughs> Moldovan. He's going to give him a yellow card if he does it again. And then points will be taken off. Old habits die hard when you're a Muay Thai fighter. Clinching is part of the arsenal of Muay Thai. And they're having a laugh with each other here. <laughs> Well, Dennis Warshek piles on the pressure, the Polish Punisher comes forward. Dorel's seen it all before and just smiles, moves his head, moves back. Well, strong words coming in the corner there of the Moldova man who looks like he's been a little bit too relaxed towards the end of that round and his corner man giving him clear instructions to say, come on, don't be complacent. One thing you cannot be inside of those four ropes, the square ring. Like a game of chess with pain. And you can see from our camera angle there, guys, both corners. And our lovely ring girls with a clear instruction that we've had two rounds. There's Vladimir Top, who will be featured later. Fighters! Vladimir, sorry, sat on the ringside. A feature fighter on King of Kings. Final round. We're going to be fighting in Lithuania later this year, and that's going to be a big fight. It's going to be fighting on 15th of November. Big fight with Julius Modka, a rematch. So, round three, here we go. Beautiful front kick. Two punch kick combination, and a front kick on the end of that from Doral. Lands a right to the body. <laughs> Drops his hand in contempt, look at that. And both fighters waving each other on now, talking to them in the ring, saying, come on. Woohoo! <laughs> well, you talk about some fighters loving the job and what they do. These two are absolutely enjoying themselves, especially Dennis Boschek, who's vocal, who's physical, and mentally strong. So too is Donald Christian. Who hasn't come here to lie down either. Nice, very good lateral slipping of the punches there against Dennis. This is a great match. A very close fight. It could be one of those that goes an extra round. <laughs> this is incredible. Look at this, look at this. Hey! Ding dang and Scooby Doo. Everything goes. That King of Kings. Let's say, come on, let's have it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop time. Stop time. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. 
Here we go. Is it yellow, yellow, card. yellow card. Clinch. After stop, no he way. smiles, but he knows what he's done. The next one is a point off. And he doesn't want that. It's a close fight, and that could determine the winner. That's what he's got to do. Just keep his hands up and just push him off if he gets close. Lean on him, yes. Push him off, yes. Attack, yes. But don't grab and clinch. That's what kickboxing K1, KLK rules is all about. It's all about action without holding like Muay Thai. It isn't Muay Thai, it's KOK, kickboxing rules. Contemptuous gestures from both fighters with their hands down, taking punches on the face and just carrying on. Look at that. Two season pros right here, right now in the center stage of the King of Kings Square Ring. Here live on Fightbox HD. Live to the world, if you're watching, listening to me, Sandy Holt from Sunny Bolton. We've had a great night of fights. Thank you for joining us. Tell your friends about Fightbox HD and King of Kings. Those three letters, K-O-K. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop. All the promoters should be absolutely be buzzing and chuffed with themselves tonight. Donatus Simonitis and Mr. Dorin Damir. Ten second hammer, here we go. Is it going to go an extra round? It could do, because I can't separate these two. My unofficial, unofficial scorecard says 10-10. 10-10, 10-10. Do they do it again? No. Dennis Wojciech got his hands in the air. He thinks he's got it. Doro Christian looks quite confidently chuffed and pleased with himself. He thinks he's got it too. What do you think? Back at home, guys, live in 50 countries around the world. How do you see this fight? A real good match make this for the promoters and for the fight fans and everybody around the world. Five, six thousand in attendance here will be very pleased with their fights tonight and this one being no exception. What a great fight. I love watching slow motion action. Look at that. You see everything clear as day, as bright as a light, and straight to the point. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, Richard's Kuzmenka. decision. Here we go. Extra round. Oh, yes, I said it, and it is. Woohoo! It's an extra round here at KOK. We've got more fights for you today. Well, it's another round. That's so sound. Sound as a pound. Okay. And we're here in Moldova, right on the ground. Four ropes in that ring. And I'm not going to sing. Hey, hey. <laughs> as you can see, I get a little bit excited, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, celebrities, fabulous people from around the world. Well, he took his gloves off and he didn't realize he has to go another round. So the gloves are back on for this fight. He thought he got it, but he's going to have to do another three minutes. Mr. Dennis Wojcik had his glove off. His left glove was already off. It's got to go back on. That gives them just a little bit more time. They usually get when there's an extra round. There usually is about two minutes. So, because obviously they have to announce the decision and they have to go through the uh, procedure again of resetting the judges, getting everybody back into place in case they're thinking that was it. Well, as they say, it's not over till the fat lady sings, and I've not seen a single fat lady in Moldova. So I must be eating something, right? A fit fighting nation, Moldova. Our health is our wealth, as I would say, and so do many. If you drink and you smoke and you do drugs, it's no joke. Drugs are for mugs. Too much drink and it stinks, and if you smoke, it's a joke, because you can get unhealthy. Remember, our health is our wealth. Just a little private conversation there going on with myself and you lovely people. Don't forget, guys, 5th of November, Riga Arena, Latvia, King of Kings continues. The ball, the wheels keep rolling. 15th of November, 1 5, 15th of November, Vilnius, Lithuania. Home of Donatus and Giri, husband and wife of the inventor, the president, the visionary. 10th of December, back here in Kishnoi, Moldova for more action. And you know what? I can announce 2017. Already seven shows ready to rumble. 
and exciting news. It goes into Cyprus next year and Dubai. United Arab Emirates, watch out. KOK is all about, and hopefully Sandy McDoodle, McDiddle, McDo, Mc3, Spiky Ed, funny man from Bolton will be there too. Everything rhymes, ding dang do. Here we go, back on round four for some more here at KOK. Extra round. So back on the edge of your seats. I did say I thought I couldn't separate the two of the sorry, the two fighters. Three rounds gone. Both fighters thought they had it, and that tells me something. Good judging, great judging. Now it's more serious. Two, three, low kicks land. Doral just stays there and lands the punches back. A good knee from Dennis. Good knee back from Doral. This is match pitch perfect. This guys, look at this. Look at that. Kick for kick, punch for punch, knee for knee. Ooh, two good body shots finding the mark, but even though Dennis Warchick hasn't got a six pack, I tell you what, his condition never ever judge a book by its cover. Famous kickboxer fighter from the 70s and 80s, um, possibly touched the 90s. Um, Benny the Jet Hercules used to fight in Japanese kickboxers and he used to just eat every low kick that everybody threw at him for all around the world, different fighters from around the world. I think the only time he lost was to a Thai fighter. But the Japanese couldn't put him away, neither could the other Americans, the Mexicans and everybody else. And that guy never, he just looked very similar build to this man, Dennis Wojcik. Just had, you could say, like a loose belly. But as somebody once said to me, they went, you don't hit somebody with your six pack. Not every person can develop muscle, guys, but you've got internal muscle, like an internal engine. This guy's got stamina. Look, he's done three rounds and he's not out of breath. Yeah. On the other hand, you've got Daryl, who's got a slightly better physique, um, but he's got the equal same stamina. So never judge a butt by its cover. Remember, you're hit with your hands and your knees and your feet if it's kickboxing. You're not hitting it with a chiseled chest or a six pack or bulging biceps. Sometimes there can be a hindrance. Too much muscle, guys, and tires you out. You get lactic acid. Has anyone heard that term? Lactic acid, that's when your muscles start to burn. It doesn't mean that you're not built. These guys will have, will have solid muscles under that little layer of puppy fat there you've got. And it's just proven here because they've done already 11 and a half minutes. Sorry, 12 minutes before, uh, sorry, nine minutes, and they're going into 12 minutes of fighting. I do apologize for my timing there. So 20 seconds remaining, and again, do you know what? This could go into the round. If they have five, it could happen. I've seen it go on King of Kings where they've gone five rounds. Or will they make a decision? Will it go to a draw? I like draws. Some people don't like them. Let me just explain to the non-believers about it. Look at this! Where, hey, what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight to finish off. Wow, both, get, both fighters put their hands up. I was saying about the draws. Guys, if you both give 100%, you both land equally, you take equally, why shouldn't you share the gold? Tell me why. So don't please disagree with Sandy, the funny man from Bolton. If you've given 100% you, and your opponent's given percent why should either of you get the win? If you've both got the win, you should get a share. Share the belt. Share the goal. Well, you can't actually share a belt. There has to be a winner in a title match. But this is not a title match. Break the gold in half. Break the bread and share it. Split the wine. This is what King of Kings is all about. Perfect matchmaking from the promoters, and in comes the man with the fabulous shiny suit. The MC, the ring announcer, Regis Kuzmenka, will give us a verdict from our fabulous judging. There's Pavel Zhurilev, a massive and featured fighter here on King of Kings. After the extra round, here we go. Judge decision. Wow, what's it going to be? Nietzsche. Yes. Perfect. Yes. 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 Perfect decision. Yes, my applause. Great judging. Absolutely perfect judging. Absolutely. Now the man from Poland thinks he's got it. He shouldn't be disappointed. 
He shouldn't be disappointed. Why is he disappointed? He's won equal win. I will explain that to him later. And the after party. It's right. It's perfect. Yes. Уважаемые зрители, а во время перерыва мы все можем присоединиться к доброй акции. Поможем улыжке Агнесия. 